Those of us not fortunate enough to know Mandela well have come to understand the man through his legacy. We've also come to know him through the photographs of a person who, even when confronting unimaginable cruelty and injustice, almost always had a smile on his face. For me, there's one photo in particular that stands out. On my wall and in my heart every day is an image of my mother and Mandela meeting in Cape Town in 1997. But when I first looked at the photo, straight away what jumped out was the joy on my mother's face, the playfulness, cheekiness even, the pure delight to be in communion with another soul so committed to serving humanity. And then I looked at Mandela. Here was a man with the weight of the world on his shoulders, asked to heal his country from the wreckage of its past and transform it for the future. A man who had endured the very worst of humanity, vicious racism and state-sponsored brutality. Yet in that photo and so many others, he is still beaming, still able to see the goodness in humanity, still buoyant with a beautiful spirit that lifted everyone around him. Not because he was blind to the ugliness, the injustices of the world, no. He saw them clearly. He had lived them. But because he knew we could overcome them, 